Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Max one more time from Center Music House. Today I want to show you another way that you can use your phone as a second camera in Zoom if you're doing online music lessons or any sort of teaching. In a previous video, I showed you a method where you dialed into your own meeting using the Zoom app on your phone. That uh, That's a good method if you don't have Apple products, if you have Android, Windows, laptop, whatever. If you have an iPhone and a MacBook, this method that I'm going to show you is one that I recommend. It's a lot cleaner, and Zoom has a feature that was actually built, I think, with this in mind. So let's get to it. So what you want to do is uh, go to share screen. And there's this option here, iPhone, iPad via AirPlay. So AirPlay is um, a way for Apple devices to communicate with each other. If you have AirDrop on your phone, if you've ever used that, um, you can send pictures and files and stuff to other Apple devices that are nearby. So it works on a similar principle of that. So you click that, you click share, and then you get this screen right here that says, um, basically number one, you want to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network on your phone that you're connected to on your laptop. So I'm just gonna make sure that that is indeed the case. Uh-huh, okay, I'm connected. And then you want to tap screen mirroring on your phone. Now, how do you get to screen mirroring? So if you can see my phone right here, you just kind of swipe up the bottom, almost like you're gonna you know, adjust the brightness or access the camera. Here, I'll show you one more time how to do that. So I kind of start below the screen and just swipe right up. And there's this option, I think it's reversed in this recording, but screen mirroring. So you click that and then, um, it pops up, zoom, Max's MacBook Pro. So I click that and there it is. So now basically you see, if you're in a meeting with me, you would see my phone right now. So if you were doing this in a lesson, suddenly your student would see a split screen of you up top and then your phone. Again, your student can now see everything on your phone. Be careful what you show them. And um, I'm just going to write right from there click on the camera app and there now I have a second camera I can uh, whoa what what an angle <laughs> so you can see my apartment um, just like in the previous method if you're using a camera I'm uh, sorry if you're using a phone as a second camera you want to make sure it's stabilized you want to make sure that you're using um, some sort of a stand so that it's not all shaky because it, it can be distracting and kind of nauseating. So that's pretty much it. Then you hit stop sharing to, to stop sharing your, your, your iPhone as a camera. Um, it's pretty quick, it's clean. It's a feature that's built into the Zoom software. So I feel like it's a better one to use than you know dialing into your own meeting through the Zoom app on your phone like in the previous video. It's, it's a weird workaround. It works, you know, if, especially if you don't have Apple products, but Zoom has this function built in, so you should use it. I think it's a, a good option. The other thing about this AirPlay and screen sharing is there, it, it opens up a lot of possibilities with the things that you can do in your lessons. So if you have digital copies of books, let's say you use Piano Adventures, right that's a super popular book a lot of our teachers use that you can buy the digital copy have it saved on your um, on the books app on your phone and then you can pull up exercises for your students to work on it's pretty sweet I mean you know you definitely want to make sure your students have a physical copy of the book so that they can make notes and you can support the the print music industry <laughs> but uh, this is a, a great way to share music with your student and make sure you guys are literally on the same page. So check it out. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment below. I'll be sure to uh, answer it as best as I can. If you have any other advice related to this that I haven't covered that you think other people would benefit from, please, um, please leave a comment about uh, that as well. So I hope that helps, guys. Take care. Have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye.
Hey everyone, Max here from Center Music House. If you're interested in learning how to play an instrument with one of our instructors, go to centermusic.com slash online dash lessons and you can sign up for a free trial on music lessons. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can get updates when we release new videos and that kind of thing. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment below or email our tech support team at help at centermusic.com. Thanks and have a great day.